Okay. This has been a fun project. Um, I started out making this video, had the intent to have some clients that are out of state that wanted a video walkthrough tour. This house is so freaking cool. There's so much history with it that I decided to do a Blair Witch style walkthrough. So I'm gonna get side by side maybe of a video of the house, but then how about you get my reaction because I swear there's um, some haunted shit going on here. Anyway, I'm in the main door. Uh, supposedly this was renovated a few years ago. The quality is off the chart. Solid doors everywhere. Um, cherry floors, the craftsmanship of every minor joint is ama amazing. Uh, we come in here to the main sitting room, formal room. There are two fireplaces in the house. Um, it's just amazing. The detail everywhere. And as I watch this later, if you guys see a ghost or a orb fly through, uh -huh. uh, got some gorgeous pocket doors. The dining room's a little dark. Um, has a second fireplace. Really tall, I'm gonna say nine and a half foot ceiling to crown at the top. Just absolutely immaculate. This is almost like new construction. Gorgeous kitchen, granite countertops, um, custom, custom cabinetry, that little side entrance door, down the patio here, over here in the kitchen, nice gas range, and what everybody would assume is the pantry. Is a jail cell. I said, I'm sorry, I take that back. It's a three story jail, not just a cell. So let's go back upstairs here. Uh, windows at each landing on the stairs. Again, there are three heat pumps that run the system, so it appears each floor has its own. Um, main landing here. Two bedrooms, large bedrooms, cherry floors, this amazing bathroom. You guys have seen this. We have uh, also like got a laundry here. Um, two bedrooms share this gorgeous, gorgeous bathroom. I would say it's amazing. Clock up tub, uh, rain shower head, plenty of room. You guys like to see the showers. Water pressure, wouldn't you? Not with me in it. And again, just this the tall ceilings, the, the light sconces, the absolute gorgeous attention to detail. The window, every doorway has a window transom. Um, the windows throughout are arched. Um, let's go upstairs here. To the top floors, the attic. Uh, this could be a master level, this could be just about any kind of game room. Wide open space. Did I mention that there's an attached jail to this house? So the bed and breakfast possibilities, the murder mystery parties, the... I have no idea. The possibilities are endless, so long as there's not a ghost that I'm going to see on this video later. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so I thought this would be a little bit more of a um, first impression type of thing here. Uh, I kind of briefly walked through the house, turned a few lights on, saw where the uh, jail is connected to the house, and I thought this would be a cool first person tour reaction as you walk through this old thing for the first time. So as we come here on the side of the house, this is the original door to enter the jail. And come in here. Bars are still on the windows. I don't know if the camera's focusing. You can see those guys, but they are still there. Um, some cool pictures of the history behind this, but it's the earliest picture from 1902. Um, the house looks pretty original. But we are here in the uh, intake room, is what I would call it. 
And then if we come over here, all the doors are heavy and steel. Portals of the sheriff's kitchen. But we come in here and we've got the stairwell. There's a really cool skylight up there. Um, yeah, <laughs> it is spooky. Uh, spooky is a good word. Let's just walk down some of the hallways here. We're in the, the belly of the jail. Um, I don't know if I want to hear the stories that these walls and bars could talk. I'm just going to assume that they aren't the most pleasant experiences. Anyway, you ever been in a jail cell? It was built around the Civil War. Behind every door could be a ghost. Let's go upstairs. I'm kind of filming this Blair Witch style on the outside chance that my camera is randomly found. I've never seen or heard from again. Is the ghost the jail? Dumb idea number two of the day. I'm going to go into a cell. Close the door. Um, so anyway, how awesome could the haunted mystery parties be? Um, mm, thank goodness that door opened. Oh. Get another cell here. This was an original feature. I heard some voice that would have not been good. At least all the cells had windows. And there's a door over here and it's closed, probably for a good reason. Designed a jail with uh, skylights. And there you have it. There's one part I'm not going to do with the camera facing this direction. And I need to get a flashlight. Is this little doorway here it goes to this dark basement? So, if I feel brave, I might record it. So. That door doesn't open, probably for a good reason. We're going to leave it closed. Here we are. Your very own sheriff's jail for the low, low price of $350,000. There's some history here. It is cool. I don't even know how to describe it at this point because I'm in such shock. So. Guys, we're in a basement, and this is a Samsung S10 with a really great flashlight. I'm going to spin quick. I don't know if you can tell, I am in the dark. Let me see here. <laughs> this might be one of my more questionable decisions, but anyway. So, spinning around. Basement, dungeon stairs. Let's see what comes up over here. Oops. 
step down, just kind of a catacombs of a basement. And uh, I'm not sure if this was done during the renovations, but uh, it looks like a steel frame ceiling with concrete for the floors above us. Now my camera is not wanting to focus. Okay, camera's focusing again. You guys ever been in a spooky basement recording by the flashlight of your phone and things start to make noise and your camera gets out of focus? That's when you go into the other part of the basement. So. Not only does the house come with a jail cell, it comes with a dungeon. And there you have it.